probably the friendliest campsite in the UK. YouTube channel. If you've not been here before, I'm Andy. Emily and the dogs are with me as usual. Today we've come to an adult only dog friendly site in North Yorkshire called Uskeda Park. We've seen a lot about it, we've heard a lot about it, seen many reviews, we looked up on it. First impressions were it is quite expensive but we thought we'd try it out anyway. So the, so the site is actually fully dog orientated no dogs are on the leads there's basically no rules as long as your dog's friendly it's fine the dogs have been pottering about on the run no leads going around different campsites different campers everyone loves dogs one thing i will say is if you do not like loads of dogs or you're only like your own dog this place isn't for you it really isn't it's cool they're chilling andrew doing i'm not too sure what he's doing And there's a fish chilling as well. Just a little outdoor area. Got a table for cooking, windbreakers, keep dogs in, fire pit for later, blanket for the dogs to sit on, which they've both decided they'd rather sit on the grass. Chairs for us. Rest of the campsite, the dog fields just there, and the gate to get on. It's just there, so that's perfect for us. Everest's favourite thing to do, stick his head over the windbreaker and people and dog watch. It's a dog friendly campsite and so far it's been absolutely amazing. They've got the campsite right in the middle and they've got a big fenced in field so they can all run. They've got some trampolines for the dogs which is nice, Coda likes getting on them. There's an agility course down here, if I just get a little bit closer. We're going to try and do that with the boys later, try and get a good video. I think Coda will do it, uh, I'm not too sure about Everest. He might not be that athletic. There's some really good shower and toilet facilities here. There's a reception with a shop that sells uh, quite a lot of things, so if you've got something you'd be able to pick that up in the shop. Now they do have an indoor play area and an indoor cafe where you can sit in and eat with your dogs. But at the moment that's closed due to Covid so unfortunately we can't go in there. They've also got a new groom room where you can wash and groom your dog. Again, that's not open at the moment so we can't go in there. But everything else is open. It's off lead so your dogs don't have to be on a lead obviously unless they need to be for a certain reason but if not they can all just be off either in the field and in the campsite like if you can see there's a lot of dogs just roaming around they go to each other's tents say hi make friends i mean everest just got out the field because the gate was open and they were sat with someone trying to eat their bacon but the people didn't mind said he was too cute So yeah, literally every part of this park is for dogs. There's no children allowed. It's literally everything's for the dogs. Even this play area with a slide is for the dogs. Coda straight in the water as usual. So this is actually part of the park as well. Meshed at both ends. So the dogs cannot literally get out of this place, which is why they're allowed off lead all the time. Oh, 
why did he start doing his sprints? Right, here we go. Clean water as well, isn't it? So, why do we? Everest! This way! Come on! They are, I like the, yeah, I like the rain head showers, they were lovely. Like them ones that flow like a waterfall. Back in. Be inclined to say this is probably the friendliest campsite in the UK. Well, what we've been to anyway, definitely. It's just crazy that your dogs do not need to be on leads, they do not need to... Well, there is no rules, basically. As long as your dog's friendly and well-behaved, you go. The dogs have been fine. Obviously, we've got a great Pyrenees who likes to wander on his own. Everyone's fine with that. The 40 kilo puppy bouncing over, everyone loves him. So, yeah. So, things that are included in this site are they've actually got an indoor play area, which is shut at the minute due to COVID. There's an indoor shop, toilets, showers, they're all open right now. There's a washroom inside and a groom room. But the groom room isn't available either because of COVID. Also, a swimming pool, which is fantastic when you think about it. When I mentioned the price before, when you roll all this and everything's dog friendly. Obviously, so you can go during the night time, the dogs have got to be secured. No one wants a, someone else's dog bombarding them when they're trying to sleep. But So you're allowed fires, barbecues outside. Quiet time is 11.30. Even the dogs need sleep. And you are allowed visitors between 10 and 6. So if somebody wants to come visit yet and they're not staying they're allowed i think there is a price for that though i'm not sure if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe follow us on instagram at canines and camper thank you very much cheers